everyone, my name is Brooke and I'm from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and I'm currently studying curriculum and teaching here at the Teachers College. Um, Teachers College is a sub-school of Columbia University, all graduate programs, and I'm currently studying curriculum and teaching, which is an independent study course, fully flexible to whatever field you want to look at specifically in education. So I'm focusing on social media and how that impacts students' growth in elementary school through the digital age. I chose Columbia mostly because I thought it would give me the best career path after graduation. And I'd always loved New York in undergrad, but I wasn't ready for that big school experience. City life yet at 18, so when the time came after undergrad, I finally felt like it was time to explore New York. I was coming from Boston, and luckily I got into the Teachers College. The professors have been amazing, and I know that once I graduate, they're gonna set me up for the best career path that I can have. So curriculum and teaching is a very interesting program because it can go a lot of different ways. So if you have a full-time job and you're looking to kind of just expand your educational background, you can take it in one year, you can take it in two years, however much time you need, and it can be flexible to your schedule. So I specifically chose it because of that and knowing that I wasn't exactly sure which realm of education I wanted to be in. So it's structured as an independent study. There's a set amount of classes you need to take and then you can really explore Teachers College for what it offers and meet with professors in the field and kind of form your master's thesis around what you're interested in. The application process was fairly simple once you're coming from undergrad. I specifically went straight from undergrad, so it was pretty fresh in my mind. You fill out everything you did in undergrad. What was your bachelor's in? What did you focus on? Why are you interested in Columbia? Like the classic question from your undergraduate education. They want to know who you were as a student and what is your path here and why are you choosing this field of study? I did the traditional application online. There was an interview factor to it where I got to meet with a head of the program in admissions. We got to talking and it felt very personalized. So I think you really need to know why your heart is in education to come to Teachers College specifically. I would say from start to finish, I had a lovely kind of process with it all. I think the most important aspect as well is studying for your GRE because they do weigh that heavily in the application process, although it is holistic. You get your application online, everything's online these days, and it was a very exciting day. They're very welcoming. They send you a welcome packet with gear, welcoming you to the city. So it was a very exciting process. I'm in the Curriculum and Teaching Master's program, so in May I'll be graduating with my Master's of Education in Curriculum and Teaching. And the program is very flexible if you're a full-time student, part-time student, if you also have outside work. It's just 32 credits. You can take that across as many semesters or years as you need to. And there's a set of 10 classes that are required for you to take for the Master's program. And then it's very independent study where you can kind of design your center of focus. What do you want to study? What classes do you want to take? What do you want to get out of the program? And at the end of the semester, in your final semester, you will write a thesis. It's about 25 to 30 pages, depending on what you're writing. And mine is going to focus on the implications of social media and elementary education and how that's impacting children's learning. At the end of the year before graduation, you have to defend your thesis and we all get together and listen to each other's ideas and kind of our whole two years at this university comes full circle. Every student in the program has an advisor and that can be a professor within curriculum and teaching or a faculty member in the admissions team. It just varies depending on what you're looking at and you will work with that advisor to come up with your topic. So they really kind of just work with you on a one-on-one -on -one basis to find out what are you interested in through what you studied so far and it's really structured around you. So you get enrolled in an independent study where you have one to two semesters to fully dive into this thesis project do your research, use the libraries, use your professors, because so many of the professors in the program have actually worked in the field, so they have so much knowledge to share with us. Once you've kind of nailed down what you want to talk about, write about, you can design whether that's going to be a paper, a project, a job, however you want to design it, which I loved because I love getting creative with it. 
I know that I could use this paper for a future career. I can just get it, try to get it published. So there's a lot of different routes you can take, but it's one of the most individualized processes I've gone through at the Teachers College, which has been amazing. So before coming to Teachers College, I studied film and media at Tufts University, and I really decided to dive into children's education and media. And I had this kind of focus on how can we use social media to advance our learnings in the classroom. And so when I came to Teachers College, I actually got to work in a classroom with second and third graders, and I did start to notice how social media is not just an outside activity anymore that kids do on their phones. There's so many different ways that you can use social media in the classroom. When it came time for my thesis, I wanted to put that all together, and a lot of people defend it in a way that just, it's good to use or it's bad to use. It's very black and white, but I really wanted to dive in and say, well, social media can actually have a positive impact, and here's how. So I've started to do a ton of research on scholarly articles that are already out there. I have conducted interviews with students in the elementary schools. I've also reached out to influencers on TikTok and Instagram who have used their platforms to kind of transform what education looks like. And I found that there are just so many different ways that it can be this positive influence on pro-social behavior in children, digital citizenship, teaching them media literacy. So social media doesn't just have to be this passive activity that's distracting. It can actually be this educational tool for children and teachers alike to use that like deepens their cognitive thinking, deepens engagement, collaboration, communication. So even things that you might think about like Google Docs, blogs, different project management platforms like Asana, you can use those in the classroom to make it all work together. And it also helps students who maybe don't think school is fun or it's a little bit boring to help engage them in what they're learning. I think the most kind of surprising experience I've had at Teachers College is to be able to implement what I'm learning in the real world. So for one semester, I actually got to student teach at an elementary school down in the East Village. And I think it's one thing in undergrad to kind of study, research, take tests and learn about something, but then it's a whole nother aspect to be learning and doing at the same time. So it was just like one of the best experiences to see the work that I was doing in the classroom, getting translated into like a real life classroom with second and third graders and kind of being able to take these big ideas I had in my head and really implement them with the students. I think for anyone looking to apply to graduate school, my biggest piece of advice would be to visit. I think it's really important to see where you're gonna be spending your time, especially since it's not the same structure as an undergrad university where you're kind of in the classroom 24 seven or like doing sports or with your friends all the time. So I think it's important to get to know the school that you're gonna be at, the city around it, meet with actual professors in, in the field because most of the people you'll be learning from are in the career field that you're looking to go into. So it's really nice to hear from them, see who you'll be learning from, get a lay of the land so that you know it's the right fit for you. So I'm super excited. I will be graduating May 18th, so right around the corner. And at the current moment, I'm gonna just continue to decide, do I wanna go into a traditional classroom experience as a school teacher or use what I've learned from my thesis and kind of go into the world of marketing and media for children's education and where I can take that. So. My dream job would be to work at Sesame Street in children's media. Um, so we'll see what happens.